First, we are working the latest developments in a tragic sledding death. The teenager was having fun with her family when she struck a tree and later died. Police closed the park to sledding the next day, and now the city is considering closing more parks to try and keep people safe. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is there now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Susan and Mike, we're here at Nuda Connecticut Park in Providence, where the snow fence is now banning sledding here and where this makeshift memorial is in place after a tragic death here. A snow fence is now in place at Nuda Connecticut Park in Providence, banning sledding after a horrible tragedy here Wednesday afternoon. I just, I, I say a prayer for the family is, is what I want to say. And, and they didn't deserve it. And that girl didn't deserve it. Just having fun. Look at the hill. The police say Alexandria Alvarez lost control and hit a tree on her way down the hill and died. She was only 17. Did you help get her down the hill? I did. I helped the firemen just kind of steady them on the way down. Just a terrible thing for the mother. I feel so bad for the mother. She had to be here and the brother. The city of Providence is now considering closing other public parks to sledding. For now, Eyewitness News checked in with a doctor at the Rhode Island Hospital Injury Prevention Center for advice on safe sledding. We recommend that people always sled sitting up facing down the hill. So you don't, one, you don't want to be lying down on the sled, sledding head first because there's a much higher incidence of head injuries if you do that. The city of Providence assigned a park ranger to make doubly sure there's no sledding here. That's in addition to this snow fence. Live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.